Round 11 then of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship. Five second board displayed. Drivers now look towards the lights. The start is going to be crucial. It is go and a great getaway by Jake Hill. Good start as well by Ash Sutton. Yeah, Sutton has got the better of Dan Kamish off the line, but there was no uh, attack whatsoever on Jake Hill. He just, the bottom of the car, back of the car, sat down and away he went. Side by side, the Fords up to the complex. Sutton dives up on the inside, goes second. This is where the bravery of Sutton kicks in and he's sideways over the curb. Ingram was a bit... Oh, oh Sutton got a problem on the front left. There was smoke, it was a bit low. Is that a tyre-related issue? Well, certainly he's fallen back from Hill. Now, he's not losing places, but there is some smoke. You can't slow up the straight as well. Here comes Ingram to the outside. Yeah, the it's, splitter's gone. Look, it's it trapped on the ground. Th this is for second place, and Ingram has done it. So Tom Ingram goes second, and Ash Sutton there with some front damage. The tail up towards Church, and Ingram's going to try to go all the way around the outside. Now, was that a yellow light I saw on that... Uh, post it was so he slots back in but he comes out of the corner the other side side by side and he's done it fantastic move Ingram goes by and he's done it he's in the lead of the race here comes Robotton's challenge on the inside line and he will go through will he Sutton tries to break as late as he can he's not going to just lie down and let Robotton go through Dan has to work for it but he does go by and so that is two teammates now up and past Ash Sutton and Tom Ingram it is going to be who will accelerate up towards the line for a 30th career win Tom Ingram's 30th victory is at Thruxton. He wins race two by 2.6 seconds from Jake Hill. Dan Camish third, Dan Robotton fourth, Ash Sutton fifth.